Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. What's this jazzy number you might be asking yourselves? Well, we're going to be playing some P Noir. Music by Graham Nesbitt. It's a game by Picogram. Yeah, so I, I wasn't quite sure what we would be playing today, having finished um, our last game a little bit quicker than I had, I had thought. Um, but then I remembered this lovely little uh, miniature adventure that I'd found on Itch um, a while ago and had been meaning to play. And I thought, well, yeah, I'd love to do this. So this is what we're going to do. Pew Noir is a point and click adventure game set in Sunnyside Elementary School. You're a hall monitor. Help your fellow students and get the riffraff in line, because the halls of this school are crawling with shady characters. Uh, the controls, left click to do things. You can't combine things in your inventory, so don't try doing that. And Alt plus F4 is the cheat console, which I think might be a, a bit of a joke there. Um, yeah, it was made in 2018 for the Summer Slow Jam, apparently, on itch.io. Um, you can find it, you know what, let's drop that in the chat. You can find this yourself here. It's um, pay what you want. You can play it in browser, that's how I'm playing it at the moment. Um, so yeah, there you go, drop that in chat for you there. That's where you can find the game. And by all accounts, Picogram seems to make really lovely, adorable Pixar games. So this is the main, let's go back to the main menu. Here we go. This gives you a little flavor of what we're in for. So this was in the, uh, this was a parody games uh, entry. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a, a parody of L.A. Noir, um, which is a, a game I know of but haven't played. Um, and this, uh, to me, anyway, this sounds immensely more enticing a prospect. A, uh, an elementary school uh, hardboard detective story sounds awesome. So I guess we ought to just go ahead and uh, see what it's all about. Tuesday, 9am. Another drab morning at Sunnyside Elementary. My veins coursed with drink a drink. Yet even its kid-tested, mother-approved flavour sat like ash in my mouth. The daily responsibilities of Hall Monitor racked my mind, my sugary vice is unable to fill the hole in my heart. Still, the empty cafeteria provided me quiet solace, far away from the troubled halls. Little did I know, trouble would find me, just as I began to savour my rare moment of peace. Rhubarb, I knew I'd find you in the cafeteria. I don't need other hall monitors drinking their worries away when I have enough of my play as it is. Why aren't you out doing the rounds? Just taking a break, Chief, or none of your business. Um, humble. Just taking a break, Chief. Yeah, right, just taking a break. We both know you've been sitting there with a dry juice box for at least half an hour. <laughs> Nursing a dry juice box. If you don't shape up, I will personally petition her. I will personally petition to have you back in PE with the rest of the nobodies. Okay, okay. Whatever. The principal wanted to see you in the main office. A new case, probably. Just head down the hall. There is not too much to ask. Maybe do your job? <sighs> okay, so how can we... Ooh, look at this pop-up inventory. Uh, okay, we've got a hall badge. This highlights my place in the school hierarchy and my subservience to the principal. Fred Whistle stops perps right in their tracks and hurts my ears all in one tool. And then we can just hover over to interact with stuff. So there's Mia, there's Milkad, there's blank paper, there's a quarter. I think we're going to need a quarter. And some gelatin. Nice. Red splatter stains. Ooh. And then I guess we can move to a different area. There. Well, I mean, this is already quite delightful, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look at the look at. Big Dairy once again rears its ugly mug to push its disgusting product. This one at least is at least more tasteful. The last one with a hyper-realistic udder installation. <laughs> Was made with real udder. Oh, this is... I mean, 
I wasn't expecting it to be this dark. Wasting more time, I'm not surprised. Pull up a chair, why don't you? Blank paper. It looks like blank paper, but if I give it a closer look, it's actually two sheets of blank paper. Absolutely riveting. <gasps> a quarter. Oh, okay, we just get it. We get, ooh, okay, we got one quarter. Gelatin? If you poke it, the jelly jiggles. Dance, jelly, dance! You're the last good thing in this world. <laughs> uh, red splatter stains. Old ketchup from yesterday's food fight. Sometimes I forget that even a frequent haunt like the cafeteria is sadly susceptible to the rowdiness of the halls. I love the, uh, I love the, you get the description of what it is in kind of classic point and click adventure game style and then you get the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the noir type follow up to it. Um, it's nice, good setup and payoff. Okay, so I don't, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. So I guess we've got to make our way to the principal's office. That's what's, what's happening. <gasps> the food pyramid. Just another cheap scheme concocted by the big wigs up top. I mean, it does seem to have <laughs> the Illuminati eye at the top, which is slightly disturbing. Mystery Mac, lunch flavoured food. Uh, okay, so the, the, well, most of the group is lunch flavoured food. Cool. <gasps> I see another quarter. Ooh. To the kitchen. Amazing. This is already uh, a lot more detailed than I thought it might be. Mystery Mac. It's supposed to be macaroni and hot dogs, but it's liquid now. They had to switch to a stainless steel pot after the previous container I rolled it away. It melts through almost everything. It really makes you wonder what the hot dogs are made of. Lunch flavoured food. A sheep out here may be content with the lukewarm slot they may get, but I refuse to be a part of this disgusting system. I bring home lunch instead. <laughs> Delightful. I think we should go into the kitchen while I've got a chance. I have no interest in relearning where chicken comes from. My experience working that case still haunts me. <laughs> Delightful. Okay, let's continue to Annex A. <gasps> Who's this? Okay, Bimble. I want to talk to Bimble. I'm so so nervous. I've got a huge PE test today. A hundred squats and downward dogs, back to back. I wouldn't suppose you've got something for me to chew on to get the edge off. Uh, I don't think so. Would you like my whistle? No. Would you like my whole batch? No. Sorry, Bim. Uh, ah, it's a quarter there before the day. Okay, to the bathroom. To the cafeteria. Or onwards. Let's go to the bathroom. Cracked mirror. My hollow sunken eyes barely visible under my bucket hat. That's, that's me in real life. Being a whole monitor has changed me. It's been a rough semester. Sink. Ugh. It's made of porcelain. Gross. Trash bin? Someone threw out a perfectly good frog pencil. <gasps> the rich yuppies from Annex C always throw expensive stuff away to tease the other students. <gasps> a fancy amphibian themed pencil? So Bimbo could chew on that, but oh, it's been in the bin. I don't know if I want to give it to Bimbo. It's been in the bin. Bathroom stall door? An, uh, an occupied stall. That's weird. I thought this toilet was broken. Ooh, can we do anything? Doesn't look like it. Maybe later. Cool. Alright, well let's try giving Bimble the... Oh no, I don't want to give anybody the whistle. Uh, there we go. Hi Bimble. Would you like this fancy amphibian pencil? No? Oh. Something for me to chew on to get the edge off? Well, this, this pencil, it's a mechanical pencil. No? Okay, not that. It's not the solution. <gasps> Book propaganda! 
They try to tell us reading is fun, but we've all read a book before. We already know what it's like. <laughs> this is the math room. Melvin's locker. Lock lockers. Lock lockers. I'd open them, but they're locked. That's why they're called lockers. <laughs> Maybe you should lock them. <laughs> Melvin! Securely shut. The lock is cheap. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I feel like we could do something with that. Uh, if we've got the right tools for the job. What's in the math room? Math or death? <laughs> math class got much more exciting after that college prep call to go for the school board. Where once I found peace and understanding in the arbitrary rigid rules of math, I now feel nothing. Taking numbers will never represent the true nature of our tangible reality. Humans are messy, sick beings. They take no pleasure in the false refuge of arithmetic. Ooh, bottom drawer. It's locked. Top drawer? It's inaccessible. Recorder. Mia probably left this here while working on another case. It's missing a battery and a cassette. Well, I'm sure we can find a battery and a cassette. But in the meantime, let's pick up this quarter. Okay, I think that's everything we can do in math class. I think it is. For now. Okay. Let's move on. <gasps> this is the principal's office. I guess we ought to go and get our job sooner or later. <gasps> Another quarter, though. Whoa. Five quarters? I think that makes uh, more than a whole, if my math is correct. Water fountain. I remember water finally. But now I crave a drinky drink juice boxes. Lab? Nice. Okay. Okay, but well, that's definitely a quarter. Let me do anything with the uh, the lab equipment. A sock, old sock. Smells absolutely foul, like someone used it outside as a shoe. <laughs> nice, crisp of stuff. <laughs> I can't believe they still have this poster up after someone DIY crisp with their dog's puppies to grow big and red. The worst part when the school hired an evangelical speaker to tell us about the sanctity of human purity. Amazing. Okay. That might be a, a reference there. Lab chart. The semester has just started, so no one is ranked for best lab accidents. <laughs> Last year, CC won for synthesizing a dog that could only consume homework. <laughs> this is a very delightful game. I'm very glad to be playing it. Okay, cool. I um, I, at the moment I don't know how any of these things could uh, could be used in the world, but that's okay. I think we might as well go to the principal's office while we're here, although uh, I have an understandable aversion to authority. Oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> Sitting in shadow, the phone off the hook. Is there anything else? Are there any quarters lying around? So we might not be able to do much in the uh, principal's office while the principal's in here. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk to the principal. Oh, I'm running a rhubarb. So glad you could join me. I have an issue that needs resolving. Melvin has been getting out of PE for the eighth school day straight. While the use of sick notes is not uncommon, the frequency and reasons are suspicious. My parents make heavy contributions to our school, so unfortunately my hands are tied on this matter. However, a fellow student is in a much healthier position to bring justice to this felon. Find proof of forgery, and I can get this lowlife off the halls and back in detention. Your first suspect is Cece, who was caught forging parental signatures five months ago. Cece served time in detention before, but if they've fallen back in crime, we can get two birds with one stone. You can't miss Cece. Front of the school, the other umbrella. The whole matter of rhubarb? Please do be discreet. It would be a pity if you lost whole matter of, whole matter of responsibilities. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Oh, we, oh, we get a cases list as clear as well on our clipboard. Amazing. I do like the fact that the game is not gendering anybody. That's rather nice. 
I appreciate that. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so CC, we've already had mention of. Ah, <gasps> Kimmy. Okay. Ah, <gasps> my locker. Ah, <gasps> another quarter. Seven quarters, amazing. Nurse's office, interesting. Well, let's have a look at my locker. My locker. Smells of mustard. Another prank by the hallway dissidents. I added my combination, holding my jacket over my lock. You can never be too careful in these halls. <gasps> a pencil. Someone took all my stuff. At least they left me a pencil. Well, do we think that Bender would like to chew a brand new wooden pencil? Was it Bindle? Bimble? 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 Bimble! It's a brand new wooden pencil. Chew on this, bud. This is perfect to chew on! Since I'm so nice, I'll give the pencil back to you. Oh, a chewed pencil. A modern symbol of squalor for the US education system. Oh, Bimbo. The thanks, whole monitor. Oh, Bimbo, you're too cute. Okay, let's go talk to Kimmy. Looks like, uh, looks like they've got chewed. Fantastic, another yellow jacket here to grill me. Spare me. The other whole monitor already has an eye on me. If you actually care about the students here, maybe you'd help me find my sports ball. No one kicked it off the blacktop when I suggested the game, and now I can't find it. Not very fun to play with. If I have time, find it yourself. Um, if I have time, you better make time. Sunnyside relies on its sports ball week. It's one of the only things we sorry folk have to look forward to these days. Okay. I was right, Kimmy does have Jude. Okay, nurse's office. Nurse Raj can't cure my edgy nihilistic worldview. <laughs> Those boo boos are on the inside. <gasps> oh. Okay, we're outside. CC. This person's CC. I've got a CC jacket. And a lollipop. Any quarters around here? Oh my, the whole monitor doesn't pay, you know. Um, okay, let's talk to CC. Let's see, the only person here. What item? Oh my. If you're here about Melvin, I can assure you I have nothing to do with it. I've put that life behind me, I swear it. I don't believe you. It doesn't matter, I just need a person to put in detention. I believe you, but you have to help me. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, um, <laughs> Let's play good cop. A chance to prove it is all I need. Melvin is either making the sick notes or has found another forager. If you can get the old sick notes from the co coach Hypatia, you'll find them past the cafeteria on the blacktop. Cool. Uh, get the old sick notes for CC. Okay, uh, let's go this way. The only way that we can go. <gasps> Oh no, you are so sad, Tatum. <gasps> Sunnyside sighed. You would think that a school makes so much money off his detention industrial complex, <laughs> but would at least get a decent artist for the sign. Truly awful, last minute art. <laughs> oh, Tatum. Go away, I'm busy crying. Go harass other people, Yellow Jacket. Uh, are you okay? My unhappy demeanor contrasts strongly with the imagery that Sunnyside seeks to evoke. Look at this son! So happy, cool, and carefree. I'm simply highlighting the stark contrast between uh, the unhappy students and the principal's public image. <laughs> Filthy dissident. Well, can I help you? It would be a great help if I had something that better represented the squalid halls. My face alone doesn't seem to be cutting it, but for the visiting parents. Uh, how about this uh, potent symbol? This is perfect. Now I can look sad with a sad pencil. Now that I've dedicated my life to fighting the system, I have no need for fun or hobbies anymore. Here's my old bug catching net. Goodbye, fun life. Hello, radical organization. 
Amazing. A bug that made of strong, specifically erosion resistant silk. Cool, that was cool here. Okay, so I need to talk to Coach. Where's Coach Hypatia gonna be hanging out? Do we think? Uh, hmm. <laughs> what we Okay, so we need to kill Kimmy Sports Ball. I seem to recall. Uh, okay, can I go out a different exit? Is there like a gym or? Uh, a sports would be on the roof, maybe? Unless you've got my official sports ball brand sports ball, I've got no time for you. Fair enough, Kimmy. Uh, hmm. Northern's lock. It's securely shut, but the lock is cheap. Can I... Uh, Jimmy it open with a mechanical frog pencil. No. Oh, true. Okay, you can click on doorways. I forgot that map. Oh, you can go this way. Oh, okay. Go to Shabasha. Cool. Zane. Amazing. Odd, odd markings. <laughs> oh, hang on. Here's another quarter. Um, I don't know if they're just collectible or what, but... I like finding them. Obviously, this is a sick, twisted form of Foursquare. Gives me chills thinking just to think about what transpires in P. And me. Uh, Zane. What have you got there? Hey, Rhubarb! Have you seen my cool new toy? I'm a little child, so I think bringing valuables to school is a good idea. It's an outlaw laser robo geek! My parents are rich and got it for me. I'm so excited. I lost not only my shoes but also a sack. My parents' wealth has severely damaged my faculty for managing personal belongings. Heck. Well, I got your sack. Whoa, my sack! Perfect timing. My foot is caked with mud and grass. Just give me a few minutes to slip this on. Takes longer when my mom isn't here to help me. Oh, Zane. Oh, the laser. <gasps> Maybe I can pull the batteries from this toy from my audio recorder. Well, I would pull them if I could get this child-proof packaging open. <sighs> hmm. The hottest toy for children and psychiatrists. Batteries are included, but the packaging is tough. Hmm, curious. Okay, well let's talk to Coach Hypatia. Come to flaunt your pee deficient life hall monitor. You may be proud of your job, but I feel nothing but pity. One day you're going to look in the mirror, look at your limp sad muscles and wonder where you went wrong. I need access to Melvin's sick notes. Finally decided to nail that coward, it's about time. I have the sick notes, but they're locked in a drawer. The key fell out of my pocket while I was in the cafeteria. I would have picked it up, but I can just pry open the drawer with my hands if need be. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, remembering the important note from the, ins the brief instructions for the game, I can't use another inventory item to open the packaging on me, so that's going to be an environmental task, I think. Let's go back to the cafeteria and look for a key. Uh, which, I guess, may have popped into existence. Now we know it exists. Uh, can I look under the... Mia? Yeah. Wasting more time? Not surprised. Pull up a chair, why don't you? Fair enough. Uh, so then, uh, Looks like black paper, but if I give it a closer look, it's actually two sheets of black paper. Absolutely riveting. Is it in the gelatin? No, it's not. 
Uh, but it answers. Um, okay. Uh, the, ah, uh, down the grate. There's a small brass key under the grate. This must be the key to Coach Hypatia's drawer in the math room. Oh, okay. Coach Hypatia has a drawer in the math room. Interesting. Thank you for uh, letting me know about that. So the math room is over here. So it's the bottom drawer. Oh. The brass key slides in easily, revealing a stuffed drawer. There's a bunch of papers. A large portion of the top stack are all signals for Melvin. I can bring these back to Cece. Maybe I can get some perspective on this low life. <laughs> Melvin. Um, what are we going to do when we actually meet Melvin? I wonder. Melvin's all sick notes. Cece can take a closer look. These are really strange. Each signature is exactly the same, but they're written out. Melvin probably has something to synthesize similar signatures over and over. Get whatever Melvin is using, and you'll be able to squeeze a confession out. Try checking the locker next to the math room. That bunch belonged to Melvin. You also need a working recorder to link the evidence to Melvin once you get him talking. I've done all I can for you, Hall Monitor. The rest is up to you. Thanks, CC. Whoa! Okay. That, uh, that added some extra objectives. So obtain a working recorder. We're a couple of the steps of the way there. Um, discover Melvin's forgery tool. Find out where Melvin is. Oh, Tatum. <laughs> for a self-righteous lapdog of the system, you're not too bad, Rhubarb. Thanks. Um, nice Raj. Not accessible to me at this time. <gasps> Gilbert! Hi Gilbert. If you're looking for that P Dodger, I know exactly where Melvin's hiding. But it's going to cost you eight quarters. <laughs> Don't get angry. I know how valuable information is for your operation. Well, luckily for you, I have nine quarters. Oh. Okay, so... Okay, okay! Quit using that whistle, I'll tell you where Melvin is! Oh, okay, that didn't quite work as expected. The first bathroom stall in this annex. Now leave me alone! Okay. <laughs> okay, got a tip there, nice. Um, I was trying to use the coins, but that seems to only... Okay, there might be a bug, I suppose. Oh yeah, so it just... Uh, you can't really select the coins as an item, it just gives you the image of whatever the last thing you selected was, I think. Oh, well, that's weird. Anyway, let's go to the bathroom. Melvin! Although I guess we need to we need to do the other stuff first, don't we? Okay. Uh oh, we can go this way, I haven't been this way. Ah <gasps> that looks like a sports ball. Ten quarter. Ten quarters! Whoa, we're um we're almost at three holes there. Okay, let's just get a shiny sports ball. That was pretty easy to find, Kevin. An official sports ball league sports ball. Cool. Sports, yeah, that's what it is. Was there anything? Hang on, let's just check the trees. I feel like there could be somebody hiding in the shadows. Gilbert. Hi, Kimmy. I got your sports ball. Whoa, you actually got it? I said it. I saved it just for you. It's my new mixtape. People didn't really respond to the disco I put on, on it last time. So now it's 100% Eurobeat. Enjoy. You're gonna love it. Now it's time for me to prepare for the sports ball tourney after class. So cool, Kimmy. <laughs> Cassette tape. It's got terrible music on it, but I can tape over it easily. <gasps> what are you talking about? Oh, I can't use... Oh, okay. I can't use items on items. 
Uh, so I just need to have them in my inventory, presumably. Okay, let's check. I can go in the lab, right? Can I... Use anything in the lab to... Crack open this, uh... Packaging? Do we think? Ah, <gasps> no, I know. I know exactly what we need to do. Remember that corrosive, uh... Corrosive Mac? <gasps> Chefy! Oh, this, this game's amazing. Hi, Chefy. Oh, hey, old miner. Some kid kicked in the stove, so I got a hammer to bang up the dent. When I got back from the hardware store, the dent had popped itself out. Life is nice like that sometimes. I do enjoy the nice things that happen every now and then, no matter how small. Anyway, busy hammer. I don't need it anymore. Sure, Chefy, just give the kid a hammer. Shanya knew a back to school essential. <laughs> oh, okay, let's strip this packaging off. The packaging rolled it away with the toy. I can see a small battery at the bottom of the pot, though. But there's no way I'm putting my hand into that. Well, good job we've got this uh, made of strong, specifically erosion resistant silk bug there. The net sizzles when it touches the liquid, it begins to fall apart. Pull the battery out, but the net melts away into the Mac. At least the battery is compatible with any audio record. <laughs> Chef Sheffy gives me a stern look, but doesn't lift a finger to stop me from throwing random objects in the mystery Mac. <laughs> Okay, so I now have a battery. It smells rancid, but it should work fine. And a cassette. So I can, uh... I can most definitely... Get... Melvin on tape. But... How do I get into his locker? Their locker, sorry. How do I get into Melvin's locker? Um... With a hammer, obviously. I swing hard down on the lock. <laughs> it shatters. Along with Melvin's right to privacy. <laughs> Signature template. Oh, Melvin. This is Melvin's method of forgery. One step closer to a confrontation. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. Melvin. I can hear Melvin breathing behind the store door. I think I'm ready for the confrontation. Knock on the door. I knock on the door three times. It slowly creaks open. <laughs> oh, hey Melvin. Tuck was here? Oh, Tuck. Uh, confront Melvin in the bathroom. Oh, oh, hi Melvin. Are those glasses? I. Eh? Listen, Yellow Jacket, I don't have time to be wasting with the likes of you. I happen to be very unwell right now. I know what you're up to, Melvin. Uh, up to what? I've been doing nothing wrong. As a sick individual with a proper paperwork, I'm untouchable, whole monitor. No use trying to hassle me, I've got nothing to hide. Should have hid this signature template better. No, no, that can't be. How did you find my template? You should have been in my locker. Oh, I get it now. You're just jealous. Jealous. You got lucky being selected to be a hall monitor, but I, I'm smart. I worked to be to get out of PE. I rose above you. You couldn't stand it. And now I'm ruined. Completely ruined. Melvin fell into a fit of crying soon after. Streaks poured down Melvin's face, with each tear soaked in by the gathering crowd. A student reveled in his low life's misery, chanting as Melvin was rounded up by hall monitors and dragged to detention. As for me, I took more enjoyment in a job well done. A criminal in detention, multiple people helped, a minimal property damage. School would be safe for the coming week, and I was to thank for it. <laughs> awesome, that was it! I wasn't quite sure how long it was going to be, so we ended up... Uh, for going for about half an hour. Amazing. Uh, what a nifty little game. Well, I want to yeah, reiterate that I've popped the uh, 
the link in chat um, and when I pop this up as a as a video on demand on YouTube I'll, I'll put the link to the game in the video description as well um, and yeah so Picogram appears to make very lovely games and has recently as of last year I believe um, released a, um, a full length uh, top down RPG game which looks very cute um, I've got it in another window here let me remind myself what it's called so it's on Steam it's called Garden Story if you wanna wanna look for that so it's kind of um, in the vein of your your top down fantasy RPGs um, but it's um, it's an anthropom anthropomorphic fruit and veg um, style and it's it looks so sweet um, so yeah maybe something to check out if you enjoyed this I mean definitely uh, definitely Peaky Ground is uh, ticking some of my boxes uh, for, for areas of interest I enjoy.